Here's my throwback, and I don't care if it's Thursday. HMS Ulysses is a book ever great because it is not well written. No one ever accused Alastair McLean of being a fine writer, but his first book, HMS Ulysses, is astounding because it vividly adds an underreported zone of hell to World War II. To Jews, hell was the Holocaust. To the British, the London bombing. To Russia, the Eastern Front. To Germany, the Eastern Front again. You can find lively hells in the Pacific Death March, the firebombing of Tokyo and Hiroshima. But McLean's hell was the North Atlantic convoys to Russia. For two years, underarmed iron tubs shipped food and crude oil through Arctic waters. If a U-boat wolf pack hit you, you were dead, period. Ships did not stop. Men froze, suffocated, or cooked in flaming oil, or were mercifully run over. Crewmen froze solid, standing watch on deck. U-boats had another hell. If hit, they sank down with crews suffocating in the dark till the hull crushed. Unlike McLean's Guns of Navarone or Where Eagles Dare, HMS Ulysses was real war, and it was horrifying. It's as if McLean were cramming to just get the most harrowing memories down any way he could. It launched McLean on a profitable career of pulp fiction thrillers, but nothing has the fury and impact of this first book. The ship's death is as sad and painful as those of the sailors. I quote, She was still doing 40 knots, driving in under the guns of the enemy, guns at maximum depression, when A magazine blew up, blasted off the entire bow in one shattering detonation, For a second, the lightened foxhole reared high into the air. Then it plunged down, deep down into the shoulder of a rolling sea. She plunged down and kept on going down, driving down to the black floor of the Arctic, driven down by the madly spinning screws, the still thundering engines, her own executioner. HMS Ulysses by Alastair McLean. Pulpy, overheated or not, it's a tremendous feat of writing. Thomas Page is the author of the sci-fi cult classic, The Man Who Would Not Die, and co-host along with Cheyenne Cockrell on the Get Published radio show with your host, Gerald Everett Jones. 